Hello there, my name is Ogen Eboki. On today's edition, I'm going to speak to us about single motherhood. But before I go on, I want to play with my friends, my family, and my fans to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is Ogen Eboki Media. Now, when you subscribe, I would like you to share with your friends and family and also follow so I can have more subscribers. And I will plead with you to click on the notification button in order to get notified when we drop new videos. Now, to the main reason why we're here. Now, single motherhood is often referred to as a situation where a woman is raising one or more children on her own without the presence or the consistent involvement of the co-parent, which is the father. This thing happened for a variety of reasons. As you know, when a single mother lives on, a, on her own, there is always a purpose in which why the person remains single without the involvement of the dad. The purpose of which we have variety of reasons Number one of it is divorce or separation. Number two is widow or widowhood. Number three is unplanned pregnancy. Number four, adoption. And number five is by choice, it's called IVF or sperm donor to conceive. I don't have to explain all this. You all know all these five reasons why a lot of people remain single. Now, single mother will can be a very challenging as it is often involved managing the responsibility of parenting, providing financially, maintaining the household alone. However, many single mother find strength in situation or build supportive community around themselves, including by their friends or by their family, or maybe a supportive network. Now, there are reasons why a lot of people don't want to be a single mother because of what is called stigma. The stigma of a single mother, the stigma of a single motherhood. The stigma of a single mother is seen as a negative perspective, stereotype or bias that the society had owed against a woman who raised children on her own. This stigma is often manifest in various ways, including social judgments, discrimination of character, assumption about the capability, the capabilities of character of the single mother. Some common effect, I mean, aspects of this stigma includes so many things. I'm going to mention one. Number one, moral judgments. On the moral judgment, a single mother might be unfairly judged for having children outside of marriage without the involvement of the partner i mean the dad now so as for some people a lot of people see the break see this as the breaking of traditional family norms there can be assumption that a woman must have had made a poor uh poor choices or probably behaved irresponsibly if she if she is a single mom but a lot of people forget that relationship involves two people, the mom and the dad, a boy, a girl, a guy and a lady. And when I talk about this, most of these, are, when I say moral judgments, most of these blame are put on a woman because they feel like the woman is the one to be blamed. But unfortunately, there are so many bad men out there 
that make wrong choices and left this children, this woman be behind with this uh, with this with these children, which means that the person abandoned his responsibility, not taking the res not taking care of those children. You know, mostly they disregard the complex circumstances that can lead to single parenthood, which they eventually blame the woman. Number two, assumption can assumption about parenting ability. Single mother may face stereotypes that can not provide the same quality of upbringing of two parent household people might assume that children raised by a single mom will not have behavioral or developmental issue which is not necessarily true many single mother raise a well adjusted successful children number three number three economic discrimination Single mother often face economic challenges such as low income, fewer resources compared to two parent family that can lead to stigmatizing to um, assumption that the single mother are depending on social support system or that they are a burden on the society. In some workplace, single mother might be viewed as a less reliable em employee, especially if they need flexibility for child care, leading to fewer opportunity and pay uh, disparities. So it means that in some occasion, in some instances, a lot of single mom get paid less because of the hours, because of the timing, because of child care, and some other things that might involve. For example, one, if I was working full time, that I have to be at work at 6 a.m. in the morning and come back at 2 p.m. Now, my children have to go to school and I definitely need someone to wake them up and take them to school. Unfortunately, being a single mother, you may not be able to do that because you will have to raise them up on your own, take them to school, and also make sure to pick them back up at two. But in those period of hours that you are at work, there is nobody to take that responsibility for you when you're a single mom. But you know what? In the society that we live today, where I live, there is always a chance. There is always a map. There is always something around it that a single mother can walk around to make it easy for them. Number three, social isolation. What I mean, social isolation. What do I mean by this? A single mother might feel my experience exclusion or feel judged in society setting, especially if their parents are primarily couple or traditional family. There, there can also be lack of re representation and understanding of single mother in media, policy, and society space, leading to a sense of margination, marg marginalization. Number five, cultural and religion stigma. Cultural and religious stigma in certain cultural and religious stigmas, community where a single mother can be can carry a heavy stigma with women facing more intense judgment or even banishment. This cultural bias can pressure single mother to conform to certain norms, leading to difficulty in as assessing support or acceptance of a wrong partner. What are the challenges that a single mother can face? The challenging of the stigma. Many organization advocacy groups and movements work to challenge or dismantle the stigma surrounding a single mother 
by promoting awareness, providing support, and encouraging positive narratives. These efforts help to reshape perspective and recreate a more understanding and the inclusive society for single mother and their children. Now, we have nine encouraging words for a single mother. Being a single mother can be very incredibly challenging, but it is also a journey that showcases strength, resilience, and love. You are stronger than what you think. As a single mother, navigating around parenthood on your own is no easy task, but each day you are showing immense strength your perseverance and love and dedication for a significant children that you are their life you are showing them love each time you come back home number two you are enough it is easy to feel overwhelmed and question if you are doing enough but remember that you are providing your child or your children with love care and guidance which is what matter most you may play multiple roles like a mom and dad at the same time but you are enough you are just doing what you are supposed to do you are love and your love is powerful to these children just know you are doing well number three it is okay to ask for to ask for help reaching out for support does not mean you are a failure. It means that you are very resourceful, whether it is learning on family, family, friends, or the community. It is always easy to show that you need help. And this is a sign of strength. You don't have to do everything on your own, but just know when you reach out to family, you are showing that you need the help at that moment. Number four, your journey inspire others. Being a single mother require courage and resilience by facing challenges ahead of you. You are setting an inspiring example for other people that thought it's not it's I mean it's not easy, but by doing this, it shows them that you are doing enough. Number five, every small journey, every every small victory matters all celebrants all celebrate all celebration you have done means a lot everything that you do needs to be celebrated every morning routine is a success when you take your children to school is a success just know everything that you do is a win so every small victory matters number six your children loves and appreciate you even when it is hard your children feels your love and your support the sacrifice you make the sleepless nights the effort you put into building a better life for them do not go unnoticed you are your you you are your children world and their happiness and security comes from love and care. Number seven, you are building a better future. The work you put into now is creating a brighter future for your children. Whether it is work, extra hours, studying or managing the household, your efforts are paving ways for the better tomorrow. The difficulty journey is filled with tomorrow purpose. And so your dedication will definitely pay off in the long run. Number eight, embrace self-care without a guilt. Take care of yourself. Don't say, oh, I'm doing this for every of my children. And you forget about yourself. Remember, if you die, all the things that you have done, my go in vain take care of yourself don't say oh it's too luxury for me i can't buy things for myself oh no 
make sure you take care of yourself if you have little time make sure you rest well if you have little time make sure you do the things that you're supposed to do your well-being your whole well-being is very important so at the end your children you can reap the fruit of your labor your children will be there to take care of you number nine number nine is the last one you are not alone there are so many of you out there even it is if sometimes you feel like oh you are doing it alone trust me there are so many of you there are so many single mom out there sometimes you might be counted that, oh, how am I supposed to do this? I am ashamed of yourself. No, in this life, there's nothing like coincidence. Things has been predestined to happen. You are not alone. Remember to be strong. Remember to be loved. Remember that your love means a lot to your children. This is the conclusive part of it. Single mother is a journey of love, sacrifice, incredible strength. No matter how tough it is, remember that you are you are doing amazingly well. Your love is shaping a beautiful future for you and your children. This has be um, this is the last and the conclusive part of um, the story of a the topic. Of a single mother or single motherhood i believe with this that i've shared with you you will know that being a single mother you are not alone you will make it your children will make it thank you so much i remain your host organe Buki. please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel organe Buki media and also click on the notification button button so you can get notified each time we have any new video posted also um share with your friends and family and let them know that we have amazing and beautiful programs on our channel thank you and have a great day